the two major powers, uh, regional powers in the Middle East are Iran and Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabia really leading the uh, Sunni camp of the region and Iran uh, leading the Shia side. Uh, although I think it's dangerous to view everything in the Middle East as just a sectarian conflict between Sunni and Shia. Uh, they do represent these sides of the region, uh, but they are also geopolitical contenders. I think in terms of the dynamic between Saudi Arabia and Iran, I think it's a um, uh, cyclical kind of uh, situation where they both feed off each other's uh, concerns about their regional influence and their attempts to push back the other's power in the region. So you have real rivalries that often play out, uh, frankly, in other territories. So Saudis and Iranians fight each other outside of their own countries and do so through a variety of non-state allies and state allies as well. Uh, and I think the main you know, divide between these two also is their position toward the West. So Iran is typically taking a very anti-Western, anti-American, anti-Israeli stance. Uh, the Saudis are a much more in the Western camp, aligned with the United States, and are viewed as the you know, more status quo power in the region. Both Saudi Arabia and Iran uh, play out conflicts through proxies because you know, it's a lower cost way of exerting influence without actually jeopardizing your own uh, personnel and national security interests. So um, uh, a lot of times it's, um, there, it's kind of a forward defense policy for the Iranians, uh, most notably with their non-state ally Hezbollah in Lebanon, has probably been Iran's most um, effective non-state ally. And they, while the Iranians in places like Syria have put their own forces on the ground, they do find these proxies as a useful way to um, act as a deterrent to those who might want to threaten Iranian interest, like Israel or the United States, um, without harming Iranians themselves. So it's a very useful tool uh, on both sides, actually.